Kiara here with Gypsy Fae Creations. Thanks so much for tuning in. Today's soap is kind of random spur of the moment soap and I'm really excited about doing it. Um, out of the two soaps I'm making today, I had to make this one first. I have never used indigo powder before in soap and I've also never mixed it together with purple Brazilian clay. So that is where the biggest inspiration for the soap is coming from and that's what I have in this little container here is some indigo powder which is going to be a very dark blue and some purple Brazilian clay from Nurture Soaps. So I'm just going to add some of my oils to this and mix it in together just to see what we get. I've never seen anyone mix this together again <laughs> and I've never done it. So I'm very curious at what color I'm going to get and hopefully it's nothing like ugly or brown or anything. I'm hoping for like a very deep purple like purplish blue and so far I'm liking it so I'm gonna set that to the side that'll be the main color of the soap and then for a little accent swirl I have some activated charcoal in here and add a little bit of my oils to that and mix that in set that to the side and then we'll start mixing in it always makes a mess we'll start mixing in the lye solution which I also have added sodium lactate to and some tussa silk and into my bin container here are like seven different kind of oils. I also add coconut milk powder to all of my soaps and kaolin clay. So let's get this lye solution into our oils. So I'll start by pouring some of this off into the activated charcoal. And then I'm gonna take that little mixture I made and pour it into this big bucket see what we get. Something just told me I had to mix these two colors together and I'm just so excited to see what happens. Alright, let's get this mixed in. For the fragrance, I've picked out this Devil's Door by Nurture Soap. It's been sitting on my fragrance shelf for a little while. Haven't quite known what to do with it, but when I dreamed up the soap and thought about fragrances, this just fits. Um, it says it's spicy, masculine, smoky, and sweet. And the notes are vetiver, beeswax, amber, cumin, and pop. I can't even say this word. O P O P O N A X. Apocana? Yeah, I'm not even gonna try. Should have looked it up before I did. I know it's a note that I like, and <laughs> to be honest, a lot of my fragrances that I do wear, my perfume oils, um, have these notes in them. They, they are right up my alley as far as incense smell, so I'm not going for a masculine uh, style on this soap. I've kind of just made this soap for me because I thought it smelt like something I'd wear. So, not necessarily masculine. It is for anyone who likes those deep, dark, incense types of smells. So I'm gonna mix that in and get my mold over here and start pouring. So for the top of this soap, I'm trying to keep it pretty simple. I just want to texturize the top and then I have some safflower petals that I want to put on here and some blackberry seeds. So a little simpler than what my usual designs look like with like soapy frostings and all the embeds. But keeping it simple for this guy right here. I don't know why, it's just sometimes I just like to do something a little more simpler. <laughs> it is looking a little gray right now, and I'm hoping that if I put this through gel phase, which means I'm going to cover it up, maybe with a box, and 
wrap it up with a towel and let it heat up. I think the colors will really pop and come through in the end. So, final step, I've got these very bright looking sapphire, seth? I want to call them, I want to call them sapphire. That's what they look like. Sapphire <laughs> petals to put on top as like a little pop of color on there. And then we'll put the blackberry seeds on there that are very purple for another little pop on top. Spray it with a rubbing alcohol, let it sit for 24 hours, and then cut it and see how it turned out. Very easy, very simple design today, but I'm still really excited about it because of those two colors I mixed together. And not every day do I get to do a soap with just some botanicals and texturizing on top. It's still fun. Alright, let's cut into this and see if we've got any pretty swirls. I have turned it on the side because of the botanicals on top. I don't want them to cause drag marks. So, let's see what the inside looks like. The colors, well, a little disappointed. Not exactly the deep purple that I was going for. It's more like a grayish blue. Still, I think it goes very well with this soap. It looks very smoky and incense-y looking. Um, I might have to try using indigo powder again, but not mixing it with a purple clay to get the look that I was going for. But in the end, I still think this soap turned out really cool and matches the fragrance. In my opinion, it looks awesome, even though it's not the color that I wanted. I'm still happy with it. I did forget to tell you guys that the fragrance is a Lush dupe. It is a Lush brand fragrance dupe of Hellstone. Never smelt it before, but I do like it. And then I had to do a little research <laughs> and look up that word in the notes that I couldn't say, and it's a, a, pop, a pop an axe. It sounds like a popping axe, a pop an axe. And it is a gum resin from a plant that I will not try to pronounce. I know that it's in incense, and probably the reason why I like it. And if you like myrrh, the smell of myrrh, you'll probably like this. So it smells very similar to me. Anyway, I enjoyed making this soap and experimenting and doing something a little more simpler than what I typically do. It did go through a gel phase. It has a little crack on top, but it's not going to be noticeable because when you cut them in bars, you just can't tell. Um, this soap will be available on April 24th if you would like to get your hands on one. That is the next shop update, so April 24th. Hopefully I can remember all that. <laughs> I always forget of like which month I'm in and which soap goes where. Um, <laughs> this is the first of the April soap release. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. If you are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. If you have any questions or comments, you can leave them in the comment section down below. And until next time, I hope you guys have a very nice day, and I will smell you later.